So today's the day I'm really excited about because this is the day when we are introducing our next generation technology concept, again here at Louisville, for planter down pressure control technology. And this concept is called the reflex system and it incorporates two elements, which this is a dramatic increase in performance over the current state of the art in down pressure control. So the sensor, like we've talked about before, currently most of the devices on the market use a strain gauge type device um, to measure the downforce on the gauge wheels. The Xsense device is actually a fluid coupling. So you're taking the force on the gauge wheels and you're converting it into a fluid pressure. And we have a pressure transducer that measures that fluid pressure. Well, why is that important? It's important because it turns out that maintaining good calibration is a really big part of doing automatic planter down pressure control. And by going to a robust automotive type sensor, which integrates thermal control into the sensor, it, we basically have a system that requires no calibration whatsoever. So over the course of the day, as the temperature changes, you don't have to continuously recalibrate. Like on the, the, the original Dawn RFX system, the current generation product, just to be clear, this product line is in concept stage. It's not for sale. We're not announcing pricing, okay? But the original Dawn product line, which people are getting for 2015, has a system that automatically recalibrates every time you lift off the ground. This sensor also has a very small accumulator in it that actually absorbs high frequency, small movement as you go across the field and produces a smoother control signal. So what we've noticed in our research is that fields are rough. And when you're driving across a field, at, especially at higher speed, it's like driving down a rough road with lugged truck tires. And you get a lot of noise to it. And that noise basically manifests itself as noise in the control signal that the sensor is putting off. Instead of being a nice even line, you're going, uh. So the faster you want to control the down pressure automatically, the more important it is that you distill the signal from the noise. Because you want to react to the true down pressure and the true hardness of the soil and not signal noise. So, so that's part of that, okay? That goes into the signal noise area. And then we come to the main event, which is right here. This is the, ref this is the reflex system, which is the first row crop device, which is a digital hydraulic control device. And when I say digital, what I mean is that, so with most of the hours and competitive hydraulic down pressure systems on the market, you're doing proportional control. And what proportional control means is that you're running continuous electrical current through a coil, which is making a little piece move inside of a valve. And, you have to, and you're actually moving that valve against a spring and that's controlling the pressure. Well, in the real world, you have a lot of complex effects inside of those valves and you have edge effects and different things like that. And it's hard to do that precisely. And you also have very, very tight clearances which are susceptible to um, contamination and all sorts of different things. This digital control system is an actuator which is completely closed. So in its normal state, it consumes no hydraulic fluid and it consumes no electrical power. And what we have is a new control technology with a control valve technology that was originally developed in the space program way back in the day where they have this immense need to have very low power consumption hydraulics. And it's a magnetic latching valve technology. If we shift over here, you can see that instead of having one valve, we have two very small little valves and an integrated hydraulic pressure transducer. So these two tiny valves, you could think of them almost like uh, fuel injectors, except they're fuel injectors that are magnetically latching. So when the valve is closed, it consumes no power. The valve magnetically sticks together. And when the valve is open, it consumes no power. It magnetically sticks together. So you're only consuming power for the two milliseconds that it takes to move between open and closed. 
So what this basically allows us to do is to make a system for which we can do an entire 24 row planter with the same amount of electrical power consumption that other typical systems on the market now would take to do one row, which has the downward effect of being, you no longer have to add any substantial copper or any cabling to the control harnesses, and you get super high precision because we also are integrating pressure feedback into the actuator too. So we're, cl we're doing closed loop control in two places. Now this actuator design is something I'm personally very proud of for a number of different reasons because it's what it does is extremely complicated, but what it is is extremely simple. Now if we look over at this diagram right here, the actuator design People who are in hydraulics manufacturing would call this a linear compensator. So this design actually has two accumulators. One of the accumulators is actually concentric with the piston. So you see the cylinder rod is relatively large diameter. And the reason why it's large diameter is because it has a piston concentric with gas pressure underneath it. So when the system moves up and down, the oil will enter and leave here compressing the gas to float. This system also incorporates a secondary gas pressure vessel right here, which is providing upward lift that counterbalances the weight of the row unit. Not only does it do that, but it has adjustable damping. So you, it has rebound damping. So when, you hit a, when you're going through the field and you hit a stone, we don't want to restrict your ability to come up over that stone at all. But what we want to do again, when I was talking about that noise that you get in the field, that makes it hard to tell exactly what the true soil hardness is. What we do is we, it comes up, we are slowing the rate at which the row unit comes back down to the ground. And by having, with an orifice right here, and what you're doing is you're taking that vibration as you go through the field, it's like this, and we're converting it into heat. And that's why you see this finned system right here, because this will actually get very hot. Um, depending on how heavily damped you have the system. And so what we're really doing here, and that what excites me the most, is we're finally taking aerospace and automotive technology and we're bringing it into agricultural design. And, and, and saying, hey, we're gonna apply absolutely first-class manufacturing to this. Every piece of this is made um, in-house at Dawn Equipment. Um, and it's just a, it's a design that we're we're extremely excited about because it does away with a lot of the negative performance characteristics of other types of designs. It can be super reliable, super high speed, and just a super capable design, which, is, which consumes so little power, right? So you notice we have hydraulic fertilizer openers, hydraulic row cleaners, hydraulic down pressure. Well, you get to a 36 row, 48 row planter, all of a sudden energy management becomes a big deal. And that's really where this design theme is going. So um, thanks to Farm Equipment for uh, coming by and interviewing me about it and talking about the new products.